Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from differential equation. So let's get going. Problem given equation or differential equation ax square y plus 2y square into dx plus x cube plus 4xy into dy equal to 0. Determine the constant a such that the equation is exact and solve the resulting exact equation. So we are asked to determine the constant a. So we'll find a assuming that this equation is exact and later we'll substitute this a in this equation and we'll solve the equation. Okay, fine. Given differential equation, ax square y plus 2y square into dx plus x cube plus 4xy into dy equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 1 which is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0, right? Where m equal to just by comparing these two, we'll get m and n, okay? Where m equal to ax square y plus 2y square and n equal to x cube plus 4xy, right? Now, we need to find a, assuming that this, this equation is x, right? Assuming 1 is x, then partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then just substitute m and n here. See here in the LHS part, we need to find partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So x is treated as constant. In the first term, a x square is constant and in the second term, y is treated as constant. In the RHS part, we need to find partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So here, y is treated as constant. In the second term, 4 y is constant, right? Now, we'll write this equation as Partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term equal to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Okay, here a x square is constant, so we'll write this as a x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus here 2 is constant, so we'll write this term as plus 2 into partial derivative of y square with respect to y equal to this term remains the same. Plus here 4y is constant. So we'll write this as 4y into partial derivative of x with respect to x. This becomes ax square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus 2 into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y equal to partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square plus partial 4y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Right? This gives us ax square plus 2 to the 4 into y equal to 3x square plus 4y. 
so 4y gets cancelled here or we can write this as just take this 4y to RHS will get cancel 4y okay or you can equate the quotient of x square then we'll get a equal to 3 okay Now take this x square to RHS, we'll get right then a equal to 3, therefore a equal to 3. Now substitute a equal to 3 in equation 1. Then 1 becomes a 3x square y plus 2y square into dx plus x cube plus 4xy into dy equal to 0. Consider as equation 2 which is the resulting exact equation. Okay, let's see whether it is exact or not for our convenience. Let's verify it. This of m dx plus n dy equal to 0 form where m equal to 3x square y plus 2y square and n equal to x cube plus 4xy. Let's now find partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Since here we need to find partial derivative with respect to y. So x is treated as constant. Here in the first term 3x squared is treated as constant. And in the second term 2 is treated as constant. Now we can write this as 3x squared into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus 2 into partial derivative of y square with respect to y this is equal to 3x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus 2 into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y this gives us 3x square plus 2 to the 4 let's now find partial derivative of n with respect to x so here we are finding partial derivative with respect to x so y is treated as constant. In the second term, 4y is treated as constant. And we can write this as dou by dou x into first term plus partial derivative of second term. Partial, okay, let's write one more step. In the second term, 4y is constant. So we'll write this as 4y into partial derivative of x. Is equals to partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square plus 4y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1, which gives us 3x square plus 4y. By observing these two, we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x equal to 3x square plus 4y, which shows that equation 2 is exact, right? And finally, we are asked to find or solve the resulting exact equation. So, we need to solve this. We know that the general solution to exact equation is given by integral m dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n free from x into dy 
equal to c right let's find integral separately i'll begin with the first one integral m dx dt y s constant we have m 3x square y plus 2y square into dx so here we need to treat y as constant okay in the first term 3y is constant in the second term 2y square the total second term is constant and we can write this integral as 3 integral first term into dx plus integral second term into dx right here 3y is constant and 2y square is constant so let's write the constants outside the integral then we'll get 3y into integral x square dx plus 2y square into integral dx this gives us 3y into integral x square dx is x cube by 3 plus 2y square into integral dx is x this gives us here 3 gets cancelled and we'll get x cube y plus 2x y square therefore integral m dx treating y as constant equal to x cube y plus 2x y square right the result obtained from the first term is i mean first integral is x cube y plus 2x y square now coming to the second integral integral terms of n free from x into dy this equals to observe n now this is our n right x cube plus 4xy do we have terms involving only y no in both the terms we are having x so x is since x is involved in both the terms so we can't take any term from n so this becomes zero right because we are asked to find integral of terms of n free from x we don't have such term in n which is free from x so the result obtained from the second integral is zero now coming to the general solution to our problem therefore the required solution is given by integral m dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n free from x into dy equal to c the result obtained from the first term is x cube y plus 2x y square plus result obtained from the second term is 0 equal to c this gives us x cube y plus 2x y square equal to c therefore x cube y plus 2x y square equal to c is the required solution So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.